So a few people have been asking me how I produce the monoprints that I've been working on, and I'm, I'm going to give you a little, hopefully, a little insight into that today. This is um, willow charcoal. This is a piece of scrap paper. And I've kind of sketched out the lines of a landscape and something that might be the sun or the moon. I'm just going to put a, a few touches onto this now. The suggestion of a ploughed field, which you want here. Try not to be too delicate with it. Uh, I think we'll we'll leave it at that. That will, that will do. And this here is a gel plate, um, which you can buy online very easily. And I'm going to very carefully arrange it so that the picture is as I want it, cropped as I want it, and I'm going to lay it middle first and roll it out onto the page. And I'm just going to make sure, without pressing very hard, that it's made contact with all those lines. Because sometimes it just doesn't... Um, it maybe just sits up, it wrinkles or something, and doesn't make good contact. So I just want to make sure our contact is good. And once we've done that, I will then very carefully, in one move, peel it up. And what you'll straight away see is it's taken a lot of the carbon from the image, and when we kind of look at what we've got, you can see that that carbon's been transferred rather neatly to the gel plate. So, I've also got um, a couple of ravens done in charcoal. And I'm going to uh, cut those out. Trying very hard not to actually touch them. Because uh, the charcoal will smudge very easily. There's one of them. And the other one, you see possibly that, that there's a bit of a smudge around it. So I'm going to come in fairly close on this. Try to get rid of that. I, I press too hard with the charcoal and the uh, willow stick shatters and it leaves a, a load of dust. You can go over it and with a putty rubber and pick up some of that. Um, so there we go, two ravens. I'm going to go back now to our gel plate. And I'm going to, I want these ravens in the sky, so I'm just going to arrange them now as I might want them. And that sense that they're playing together. Actually, everything's going to be reversed. I'm just going to need to move that over here. And then we flip the plate over and we arrange it. I want them up about, about there. And we do the same thing, trying not to let the carbon I put down before touch the paper, because I'll lose a bit of it if I do. Hopefully, we'll have a clean print. Just have to take these off now. There's one. There's the other. I've lost a bit on the wing, that's interesting. Don't know how that happened. Um, I'm not too worried about it, because we can fill in with um, fill in with a uh, pen afterwards, once the print's taken. So I'm not too worried about those, those dropouts. And actually, it could even be a, a slight light effect. So that is the first stage.